finisher, Matt Haas, and William Brock was the last of the finishers here today. And boy, a tremendous finish here, drag race to the start finish line, which was won by the Dodge of Chelsea Bowles as she takes the win here today at the Michigan Speedway. Over Phil Parker, Jordan Anderson, and held, and held off two of the best in the business as well with, with Jessica Shelton and Seth Cole. A great race at Michigan Speedway. The, but I'll tell you what, you think Michigan is exciting? Wait till the next stop in the tour when we hit Bristol, Tennessee for the night race at Bristol weekend for the Truck Series and as well as the as well as the Mellow Yellow Series and the Cup Series on the tour. So that's the next stop in the tour for the Trucks will be at Bristol, Tennessee. And for the Irwin Tools 200, boy, going to be a tremendous race over there at that point, five three three mile high bank short track. But we'll but we'll see you from Michigan Speedway here again. Congratulations to Chelsea Bowles, winner of the Champion Spark Plug 200. This is James Qualls, and it's been a production of the NRSL. We'll see you later. Next stop on the NSRA Castle GTX Cup Series this brings us to Michigan Speedway. As we are here for the running of the Pure Michigan 400, we're set for 30 laps of action here on this two mile D shaped. Though we saw a great race in the Truck Series. Now we hope to see a great race in the Cup Series event here. I'll tell you, the Truck Series race was uh, any was any indication in the NRS for the NRSL. And we should see a barn burner here in the Champion Spark Plug 400 in my. Frame rate's very, very low here, 12. But anyway, but let's get to the starting line for today's running of the event. On the pole at, a, <clears throat> at 190 miles per hour is Andrew Perry. He's in the Skull Chevrolet car number 33. And beside him, Joshua Collar, car 43, the STP Dodge. Next row down has Jonathan Zorlin, car 12, the low, or car 48, the low Chevrolet. And the number 71 Team Real Tree Chevrolet of John Arndt. He was the winner at California. Soil was the winner at Atlanta. Third row has Levi McIntyre. And the next is SKF Ford. The winner at Rockingham and Martinsville. And Trent Dunham, the championship leader coming into this event. He's yet to win, though. So, however, he's in the Pennzoil Chevrolet cars number one. Next row down has Benjamin Miles in the Valvoline 4, car number 6, and Chris Dodd in the Napa Chevrolet, car 15. Next row down, Quentin Moore, car 21, to sit go for His last win in the National GTX Cup Series came in this very same track here in season 16. He's in the sit go Ford, car 21, and beside him will be John, car 28, the Texaco Haviland Ford of Johnny Gardner. Next row down has Zach Flickinger in car 41, the target Dodge, and beside him will be Rookie of the Year leader, Cat Tellier in car 10, the Tide Ford. Next row down, Dalton Day in car 20, the Home Depot Pontiac. And beside him will be Ryan George in car 25, the Michael Hologen Chevrolet. Next row down has Daniel Olsen in car 29, the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. And beside him, another GM Goodrich Chevrolet. It's Cole Deaver. He's, he's, he's in that black number 3, the one at Dover this season. Next row down is Emmanuel Hartnett, who won, who's twi who's won twice this season. His wins came at the Daytona 500, and he also won at New Hampshire this season. He's in the single Wallace Dodge Car 01 and the Winston No Bull 4 Car 23 of Carson Gum flanks him on the outside. Next row down has Michael Turner in Car 31, the low Chevrolet. He won the first Pocono event and the Sprint PCS Dodge Car 45 of Mike Beckers on the outside. He won the day race at Bristol, where we're heading to next on the tour after this. Then it's, dark, then it's Car 55, Dougie Shear, Super Shears in the, SE, in the, in the Square D Chevrolet. His wins came at North Wilkes. He's a three-time winner of the season and looking for the Michigan sweep as well. Beside him will be Car 5, the Kellogg's Cornflakes Chevrolet of Kyle Matthews. He won at Richmond this season as well as the All-Stars at Charlotte. Next row down has Matt Haas. He won a set. He won the second Pocono event in the Budweiser Chevrolet Car 8 and the Walt Tools Ford Car 17 of Jason Haywoods on the outside. Next row down, Keith Batson, car 88, the four quality gear service, four credit for Taurus, and beside him will be car number 02, two time order season, JT Bright, and the all tail Ford, car 02. Next row down has Andrew Davis in car 18, the Interstate Battery Chevrolet, he won at Texas, and carrying one of our in car cameras, Charles Sanford in car 60, the Power Team Chevrolet. And another in car camera is being carried by, no surprise, if you, some of you who know who I carry the in car 
have carried the in-car cameras. Jessica Shelton, the number 94, the McDonald's Ford. She won this season at Riverside and Sonoma. Her, her, beside her will be Zach Flickinger, Zachary Fitzwater in car 97, the John Deere Ford. Next row down has Matt McIntyre in the Sirius XM Satellite Radio Dodge, car 7. And the car number 12, the Mobile One Ford of, in a Brickyard 400 champion, Becca Tellier. Next row down, Dylan Poteet in car 22, the Caterpillar Pontiac. And Joshua Osborne, winner of the Talladega this season in the, in the, in the Bell Sub Ability Chevrolet. <coughs> Next row down is Jordan Anderson in car 66, the Route 66 Jeans Big Kmart Ford. And beside him will be car number 19, the Joshua Sakuli in the Dodge Dealers Dodge. Next row down has Kev Shear carrying our third in car camera in the DuPont Chevrolet car 24. And Jesse Turner, who won at Watkins Glen this season in the 36 M&M Ship Pontiac. Then it's Dylan Young in the Miller Lite Ford, car number two on the inside of the next row down, and beside him will be the 600 winner, Chelsea Bolton, car 26. <laughs> and the kids came back for the cup race as they did for the trucks. Chelsea Bolton is a Discover card Ford, car 26. She won the 600 at Charlotte this season. And then Seth Cole starts scratching the building, car 44, the Georgia Pacific Papers Dodge. There's some putt place I'm making a game crash. I don't know as low as my frame rate is, but anyway. But anyway, Andrew Perry will lead him down here. His first pull, I believe, this season. He's in the Red Skull course this season. Uh, <coughs> for this weekend's <coughs> uh, Champion Spark Plug 200 truck race and the 400. It's the Pure Michigan 400 is what this actually is. As the green flag waves, and we are underway for 30 laps here at Michigan. We had a caution-free race in the truck event here, and we had, and we hope, and we, and, but we had a safe and tremendous race over there. Let's see what the Cup Series holds for us here. Joshua Collard goes to second position. Andrew Perry jumps out in front. In the third goes Jonathan Sorlin. and here comes Collard yet to win a race this season by winning car 43, the STP Dot Pontiac. Jonathan Zorlin and Levi McIntyre st stuck on the high side here, and here comes Benjamin Miles going to try to make it three wide, coming out to number four. Miles and McIntyre side by side, a pair of Fords here, but it, in leading that lap will be Andrew Perry in car 33. And inside goes car 15, that is Chris Dodd. Makes a three wide move on Trent Dunham and J Zach Flickinger. Now makes the move on the 71 car of John Arndt, three wide here. Dalton Day looking a little racy in that number 20 machine. He's a former Michigan winner himself as well. <coughs> and to the inside, Andrew Perry loses the lead, but now will it be Collard or Benjamin Miles to lead this lap? It'll be Collard in car 43, and here comes Quentin Moore in 21. Quentin Moore in car 21 to sit go forward in that car and that sponsor and number has had some history at Michigan. Not with this paint scheme, however, though. Uh, the, it came with a white sit go scheme, if you remember, in 1991 when Dale Jarrett won uh, the second Michigan event. As they come down to turn number four here. And here comes Chris Dodd looking for the lead in car 15. What it looks like the truck race here. Uh, we had lead change after lead change every lap. Just about. Three wide racing here. Michael Turner and Jonathan Zorin. Oh, they were almost four wide down there. <coughs> and apparently Levi McIntyre had to get off the accelerator just a little bit there and, and, had, and fell back just a little bit. Well, the expression I like to use is like throwing a ham bone a room full of pit bulls here on this race track. Here at Michigan, as you're right on board, Jessica Shelton's car, falling behind Keith Batson in car 88. Shelton rides 17th in a moment. She gets a little loose there through the turn, just about to keep from hitting John Art in 71. As they got on the back stretch, Shelton, see how fast she goes in the drag there, 202, 203. 
203 in the turns three and four in the turn three and down to about 185 coming out of turn number four See how fast she goes on the first stretch, 197, 98, 99, 200, 201, 201 miles per hour in the turn number one, a little bit slower in the turn number one than she was in turn three. Shelton up to the 11th position at the moment, she gets by both Zorlin and Chris Dodd. And now Dougie Shears looking for that Michigan sweep in that number 55 car. He won the Miller Lite 400, the first stop on the first Michigan stop on the tour. He looks for the sweep in the Pure Michigan 400. But Matt, oh, who led that lap between he and Haas? It looked like Shears led the lap by, by let's see what the margin was. Two one thousandth of a second of the start finish line between those two. That would, boy, that would have been the finish. I would have lost it. Oh my gosh, that was so close. <clears throat> and now here comes Keith Batson looking inside for the lead here, but here comes Shelton. Shelton to the inside lane here on Batson. Batson throws the block. Shelton's got the bush from the 18 of Andrew Davis, and now Davis goes inside, says, screw it, I'm going inside. And he'll take second from Shelton. Shelton, you may remember, almost won the truck event. Only to get passed on the final lap, and here comes Batson. He has to lead, but only for a moment, because here comes Andrew Davis to the inside, and he'll take the lead. Batson did lead the lap, by the way. And now Andrew Perry, the pole sitter in 33, looking, looking, to, go for, looking to make another go at it here. <clears throat> and here comes JT Bryant, 0-2. Dylan Pote up through the field in 22. Haven't talked about him at all today so far, and he got, and he's now trying for the top ten. In fact, he is in the top ten. He's in seventh position at the moment as they come down through turns three as they come down through turn out uh, of turn number two. Just plenty of three wide racing here at Michigan Speedway as they come down the back stretch. And another driver moving his way up through the field. That's Kev Shear in 24. He has our roof cam. Let's see, 200 miles an hour, 201. About the same we saw with Shelton, 201 miles an hour in turns one and two, and down to about and down to about 188, 187 miles an hour through out of turn number two. And you see right up ahead, three wide between between Perry, Andrew Davis, and Carson Gum. Dylan Pote had to lead the last time by, but now Mike Becker takes it in number 45. He'll he'll go through they'll go through turns one and two. Becker was the winner at Bristol this season. In the in the Food City 500, a day race at Bristol. We'll head we'll be heading back to Bristol next up on the tour for the night for the night race there. Always exciting to watch. And now Davis goes way up on the high side now, and here is now going low. Were two of the back starters, Joshua Osborne and Seth Cole. Osborne in 42, Seth Cole in 44. Off corner number four, they come here. Boy, several cars getting a little, getting a little bit tail happy there. There, Keith. There's Cat Tellier and Ten Shelton slipping back just a little bit in the '94 car. And there's one. And there's the one of the front row starters. There, Joshua Collard. He's fell back in number 43. He's back to about 25th position. Let's see where the pole sitter of the event is. Well, no, wait a minute. Pole sitter is Andrew Perry, and he was he's, and he's moved his way up, and he's. And he's up through the field as well. 
Well, actually, Perry starting to slip back as well in the in the 33 machine. There he is. Cat Tellier below him, and now three wide. Chris Dodd, along with Zach Flickinger and Mike Becker. Now Osborne almost thought about making it four wide, but thought better of it. And now Jordan Anderson goes inside. Dylan Young led the lap, lap for the last time, bought last time by, but here comes Emmanuel Hartman. He'll take the lead in 0-1. Now here comes 66 car Jordan Anderson. Three wide between he, Young, and Carson Gum. Chris Dodd looks inside of Anderson for the number two position. And Kev Shear sandwiched in between Young and Osborne as they come down the front stretch here. Now and now Jop and now Seth Cole goes inside. He decides to he says, "Hey, this is fun. I want to join in." And he does join in with a vengeance. And now goes inside of Osborne and just about tapped and going through turns one and two. Boy, what racing we're seeing here at Michigan Speedway and almost halfway through the Pure Michigan 400 here as they come down for the complete the 15th lap. There'll be 15 down and 15 to go. And here comes Osborne looking for the lead. He does not get it that lap. Anderson got it. And now Seth Cole decides, I want to go for the lead. He'll try three wide in a turn over one. And he's got it. Seth Cole takes the number 44. Georgia Pacific Paper Sparkle Dodge to the number one spotter. Tries to. Dips down he and Osborne are side by side. Drug us and now here goes Keith Batson for the lead. Batson's got Jesse Turner right behind him in car number 36. And now Turner wants to go for the lead himself in the 36 machine. He won the last stop in the tour of the road course at Watkins Glen. And that was, and that was one of his big victories in, in front of his home track. At his home track. Turner's got the lead, but here comes car 48, Jonathan Zorlin. Zorlin in the 48 machine. In third position now, and now Collard makes the move again. A pair of Petty Enterprises machines there, Collard and a Pontiac, and Becker and a Dodge, an oddball combination. But they do make it work here, at least they are at the moment here in Michigan. Zorlin takes the lead in that familiar side, the number 48 out in front, as it has been for the last 15 years. Collard out in front here, and boys, some slicing and dicing back there. Zachary Fitzwater, now he makes his move to the inside, and where did the 60 at Charles Sanford come from? Sanford, we haven't talked about him at all today. And now he's making his way through the field. On board, Charles Sanford's car. Sanford, second place in the points, right behind Trent Dunham, coming into this race at Michigan. Off court number four, they come here. Sanford looking for the top ten. Let's see where let's see where that let's see where he is at this time. By just barely lost out of that lap to Keith Batson. Now Sanford was up the ninth position. Now gets moved up the high side by Cat by Cat Tellier in the ten. And decides, excuse me, I want to go for the late. And now start now comes down the back stretch here. Seth Colson will try for the late again in forty four. Inside now, Becca Tellier in 12, the winner at the Brickyard 400, but now Fitzwater decides to go for the lead, the Flying Aussie in the number 97 machine. Side by side, Tellier or Cole, who led the lap, Tellier does in the 12. And now there's three wide, well, darn pace car, three wide for the lead, and here comes... <clears throat> The 97 car of Fitzwater is going to the back stretch here. Now here comes back at here comes Cat Tellier, Matt Haas at number eight, looking for the number one position. Johnny Gardner up there in 28. We haven't talked about him at all today in that 28 machine. Sheeran 24, Zorlin in 48, 
Michael Turner up there in 31, up in the high side. Nine laps to go in the Pure Michigan 400 and... 100 and oh no, they're four wide! Dodd and Zorlin touch coming out on turn number two. Kyle Matthews was in that mix as well in the five machine. Oh my. This is gonna be a hair raising eight and a half this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hair raising eight laps we're gonna have here at Michigan. As we said, any one of these cars can win this race. Don't pencil in your winner yet. You only one of those, you paid your money, now take your choice. Gardner has to lead at the moment, number eight here, but here comes Kyle Matthews at number five. Dips to the inside lane here. And remember, those two are in championship contention as well, the 28 and the five, both. And here comes a seven, Matt McIntyre, car number seven, the Cirrus XM satellite Dodge. He could possibly pull up a surprise here. In the turn three, they come here. Chris Dodds up there. Sanford looking to give it another try in that number 60 machine. And then you got the RCR cars right together to get her to 31 to 3. Cole Deaver and Michael Turner. Through turns one through turns one and two they come. Kyle Matthews out in front, number five. With now six laps to go. The average speed of the at this race almost 196 miles per hour. And lap speed's pushing 200 on some of these cars. Sanford's lap 199. I see if we have any 200 laps out of some of these cars. We're seeing very, very close. We're seeing a lot of 198 out of this bunch. We saw Sanford at 199. There's another 199. That was Zorlin. So yeah, a lot of 198 mile an hour cars on this racetrack here. So very close to 200, but not quite. Sanford out in front. Here comes car three. Cole Deaver to the inside. Side by side, a pair of black Chevrolets. Sanford led the lap by just a smidge, and here comes Levi McIntyre, car 99 to the inside, and his buddy Trent Dunham right behind him in number zero and number one. One thing is two having the two things they have in common, they both love NASCAR, and they both love wrestling as well. Dun Dunham and McIntyre both. Except one's from Ohio and the other from Texas. They come down through turns three and four. McIntyre inside of Deaver. And Dunham. Try to take a look to the inside, but he does not at the moment. Three to go. Ford inside. Chevy on the outside. Here comes Kev Sheeran, 24. He looks for the he looks for second. <clears throat> Boy, what a race we're gonna have here when it comes down to the final lap here. Poti. Goes inside in number 22 now. Here comes the pole sitter, Andrew Perry in 33. Perry, of course, won a Johnny Gardner's driver's seat found late in season 15. Won, a, won the AC Delco 400 down in Rockingham in a seventh start. Won last season at Bristol, Tennessee in the ninth race. He has not won since, but he's looking, but he's in contention for this one here today. Shearer has the lead, but here comes Poteet, 22. Ford versus Pony gonna be the white flag next time by at Michigan. Boy, who's gonna pull us off? Dougie Shears. He may have he may have his Michigan sweep possibly as well in the 55. He won the, the first Michigan stop. Off turn number four, they come. Poteet has the lead. White flag. One more lap to go in the in the pure in the pure Michigan 400. Here comes Quentin Moore in 21. 
He looks inside now. Here it comes. Here they come to the third turns one and two. Down the back stretch they come here. Andrew Perry dives inside. Here comes Quentin Moore in 21. Perry out in front. Moore dives to the inside lane. Here they come up the fourth corner. Here, uh, Quentin Moore. Does he make the move to the inside lane? No, he does not. And to the start finish line, Andrew Perry wins the Pure Michigan 400. From the pole to the podium, Andrew Perry in the number 33 Skull Band, Skull Band at Chevrolet takes the victory here at Michigan. A great race here today on this, on this two-mile race. We said it was not going to disappoint, and by George, it didn't. Here, average speed, 195.836. In this event, Andrew Perry gets his first win since last season's night race at Bristol. Second place will go to Quentin Moore. Third to Dylan Pote. Fourth place will go to Becca Tellier. Dougie Shears, just short of the Michigan Sweep, finishes in fifth. Sixth will go to Kev Shears. Seventh to Keith Batson. Levi McIntyre, eighth. Ninth will be Kyle Matthews. And tenth to Joshua Sakuli. We haven't talked about him at all today. And Sakuli ends up with a solid tenth place finish in today's event. So a great day for some of, the, for, for some of our points contenders. So, 24 lap races are in the books here in the Michi here at Michigan Speedway. As Andrew Perry gets his first win of the season here, we'll give you the rest of the finishing order here. Ma Everson, margin of victory, 081 at the start-finish line. Great racing here today. Point leader Trent Dunham comes home in 11th position. 12 was Andrew Davis. 13 was Chris Dodd. Dylan Young, 14th. Cole Deaver comes home in 15th position. 16th will be John Arndt. Matt McIntyre, 17th. Charles Sanford, 18th. Jason Haywood comes on in 19th position. 20th will be Michael Turner. 21st go will go to Ryan George. 22nd, Jessica Shelton. 23rd will be Matt Haas. 24th position will be Jonathan Sorlin. 25th, Johnny Gardner. 26th will be Zachary Fitzwater. Um, Daniel Olson, 27th. 28th, Becca a Cat Tellier, excuse me, 28th. 29th will be JT Bryant. And Jordan Anderson comes home in 30th position. <clears throat> Rest of the finishing order, Seth Cole. Zach Flickinger, Benjamin Miles, Dalton Day, Joshua Osborne, uh, Chelsea Balls, Mike Becker, Joshua Collar, Jesse Turner, Carson Gum, and Emmanuel Hartnett will anchor the field in 41st position, unfortunately for him. But here, but, but we said Michigan will not disappoint, and geez, it did not here. They lead change after lead change. She didn't know who was going to win it until the very last inch of the track. But Andrew Perry gets perseveres and, and holds off on for a very tough win here at Michigan, and I and I do mean you have to, uh, I do mean a track like this at Michigan, you have to scrap like a badger to win this race for sure. So, so next up on the tour will be at, at Bristol Motor Speedway for the running of the Irwin Tools 500 for this series here. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Industry of Sports and Gaming channel. You'll find everything on the you'll, uh, you'll find everything on this channel. Whatever the president of the United States, Seth Cole desires for his channel. In our races, gaming videos, YWC wrestling, we got it all here. And be sure to check out Seth's series as well. The here the Hershey's Cup is in full swing as of this episode, and along with the and along with the Pizza Hut X, X series as well. Be sure to check out his series as well, and you will not regret it. It's among the best series in in our offline racing. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, this is James Qualls, and this has been production in the, the, the CRA. Offline racing at its best. We'll see you at Bristol.